Hello and welcome to this short video where we provide some guidelines regarding the design of a position estimator for a robot with Simulink. Let's take a look at a concrete example. The Mars rover robot has two actuated wheels both equipped with position sensors also known as encoders, one on the right and one on the left. These encoders give an angular information on a real-time basis expressed in the robot coordinate system. In other words, they tell you by how many degrees each wheel has been rotating since the initialization of the robot. What would be more useful, however, is to get an idea of the robot position in the absolute map coordinate system, X and Y. This information can help reconstructing the path of the robot to make sure it doesn't visit the same site several times. Or, it can be used to guide the robot if it is given a set of targets to reach designated by the XY positions. So how do we move from encoder measurements to an XY position estimate? Here is a proposal. We first need to convert the raw encoder counts into radian angles that have a more physical meaning. Then, on the upper path, we project the average left-right angle onto a ground distance by multiplying it by the wheel radius. On the lower part, the difference between left and right wheel angles is used to estimate the self-rotation of the robot. At this stage, we have two values, r and theta, which are the polar coordinates of the robot expressed in the absolute map coordinate system. They just need to be transformed into Cartesian XY coordinates. And we're done. Remember that this estimator only provides an approximation of the robot position. For instance, it ignores the possible slipping on the wheel on the ground. Hence, it is key for engineers to systematically validate their assumptions and understand the limits of the models they use. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for the next Mission on Mars competition tips and tricks.